Welcome back once again to Little Bits of Lisp. This time we're going to be talking about a concept called a generalized Boolean. Um, so let's hop over here. You might actually might also know this as truthiness in other languages. Um, a generalized Boolean, according to the glossary of the hyperspec, is an object used as a truth value, where the symbol nil represents false and all other objects represent true. Uh, see also Boolean. So what does that mean for us? That means that unless it's nil, um, it's going to be seen as true in all kind of um, like if statements or when or unless and all that kind of stuff. So we've got a little function here. Um, we've set A to be T, which is true, and we've set B to be nil. So then we've got a couple of conditions down here. So when A is true, which is going to be always, this is going to happen. And when B is true, which is never, this is going to happen. So if we compile this function, we see actually the implementation is Again, at least smart enough to work this out, uh, which is we jump down here and it says deleting unreachable code. And it's printed out over in the REPL as well. And the reason is um, it knows that B is nil and nothing in this function changes B. So this can never happen. So it's saying this is redundant. You may as well use it, uh, remove it. So what if we change this to one? Well, actually, one thing I should do, I should have run that function, shouldn't I? Let's, let's just run it anyway. Ignore the warning and run it. We see we get yup, and we don't get nope printed out, which is what we'd expect. Now, if we change um, b to 1 and run the function again, suddenly we're getting both of these printed out, because 1 is considered true um, when used as a generalized Boolean. And, of course, this applies for anything else. You've got the string high um, is also going to be true. Um, a list with things in it is going to be true. Of course, a, thi a list without things in it is just nil. And so we're back uh, with our warning again, and we can see that only yup is printed out. There's really not, mu not much more to add than that. Um, it's one of those things you need to know if you work in language, in any language, is how they deal with truthiness, or in, as Lisp calls it, generalized booleans. Thanks for watching. See you next time.